Hey guys, man, this is fucking shitty. Um, I had another problem with Camtasia's recording. I lost a fucking file. It was in the middle of saving it, or like saving the video file, so I could then go on to create it, and, you know, edit it, and all that shit in the studio. And it crashed in the middle of it, so. It was like a 15 minute long video of me failing to this fucking yeti and then finally killing him. Which I was gonna, you know, edit. Make it interesting. Fuck. Um. So this isn't as blind as I would like it to be. Uh, I've only killed this boss once now. But it's still not entirely blind. It just kind of sucks that I have to redo it. So yeah. That's that. There was some pretty good commentary in the other video too, so it's sad that it's gone forever. <sighs> so now I have to beat this fucking boss again. And this boss isn't easy. By any means. He is a fucking bastard. And not only am I sad that I lost the blind run of M footage, but I'm extremely sad that I uh, have to fight him again on camera. And now I'm in such a bad mood that I'm just fucking losing to everything. Yeah, that jump is kind of a bastard to make, but I've gotten fairly good at it <laughs> over the past, like, 15 minutes of fucking fighting him, so. If it looks like I'm doing fairly well on this boss, it's because I did fail on him for a very long time while recording before he became a little bit more doable. See, he's a really cool boss, though. Um, he's really hard, but he has patterns that you do have to learn. It's like playing any other kind of, uh, old video game. You know, it doesn't hold your hand or anything like that. Oh, and you do finally figure out what, like, the motivation of Mr. Nuts is. So there's that to look forward to if you've been wondering the entire time like I was. Um, I'll just go ahead and say it now. Apparently, like, uh... This Yeti is trying fuck, is trying to take over the world and like make a new ice age come. And apparently all those like walking fruits and that squid and the clown and the the fucking and god apparently that gigantic guy in the sky or whatever is working with him. I I don't know. I guess they're trying to bring on the second ice age. It's kinda weird. I'll take it though. I mean, it's a fucking 16 bit platform, right? I didn't expect the story to make sense. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense in any context, so it's kind of odd. <laughs> they also don't explain why the Yeti is wearing purple nail polish. That's something I wanted to know. That was dumb. That was lame, and so is that. I hope this video doesn't also end up being 15 minutes of me failing. Uh, something I mentioned in the last video is that if you game over on this boss, it goes all the way back to the first ice level. So I will be using save states if it comes down to that, which it just did. I'll be abusing save states if it comes down to needing to. Oh god. <sighs> this sucks. Like, I, I really wish the technology would just work. <laughs> nope. I also figured out a little bit of a cheese method 
um, that I'll probably do when he gets down to lower health where you just kind of jump to his side of the screen and let your invisibility flashes shield you from constant damage it's a little bit cheesy but this boss is a little bit cheesy so I really don't give a fuck oh god please then he does one more blow and then a jump and then this is where I get cheesy fuck him and fuck him yep that's the end of the game again Ugh. well this video is substantially shorter than the last one so that'll make editing it easier I guess um, this is where you find out what the whole story is let me see if I can speed it up a little bit because the text crawl is kinda slow nope the text crawl just stays slow I've courageously faced all of the dangers that have threatened me and I have defeated all of the creatures under the service of the abominable yeti. For hours, for hours and days, I've braved all of the traps and I have saved the world from another ice age. So yeah, I guess everybody was working with the Yeti, all the bees, all of the guys in bomber planes, all of the fire dudes, all of the, that vulture witch or whatever. I really, I really don't know. Doesn't make any sense. I guess there's a sequel to this game somewhere. I know there's a Game Boy Color version, or a Game Boy version, I don't know if it's in color or not. Oh, no, I might look those up sometimes and play them, because this game was actually really fun. I have to give it to it. It's a good 2D platformer. The controls are tight. The level design is good. The bosses are pretty hard and unforgiving, but that's how games were back then, you know? They didn't hold your hand or anything. It had... I liked the... the acorn throwing. I thought that was a cool mechanic to throw in. It was kind of like a fireball in Mario. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. Um, I'm not going to sit here and watch the whole credits sequence, but I will leave you with this. I would play the game again, and I will probably play it again without abusing save states. <laughs> so, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Get drunk, fuck bitches, you know the routine. First two things are optional, last two things are mandatory. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. That's another LP in the bag. You guys have a good one.